Hey YouTube, Silver Gold King here. We got some old one tool still. Oh one one tool still. Oil hardened. We're gonna make a knife for a green mountain metal detecting. Brad. So we can pick out some of these. These are pretty nice. Green Mountain Metal Detecting. Maybe we will do a green handle, huh? Like that? I think we will. I was going to use this. That's pretty nice too. But I think for Brad's at this Green Mountain Metal Detecting, I'll probably email him see if he wants to go with something like this. This should fit on here. Pretty good. Actually perfect. There we go. Bam. gonna make him a Damascus knife but my Damascus is right here I mean it's nice but I think it's just a little too thin for a bushcraft knife I mean it's a good kitchen knife maybe so this is 316 so we're gonna make it out of this 01 tool still much better I like baubles.
244. Two sixty four. Two fifty 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 Right to the line. Now we do the other side. Let's go to a line. Once you get it to a line on both sides, then you grind to the, to the spot here, right? So you don't make no mistakes. So I think we're pretty even right there. Does it look good, Dick? Looks good. Right to the line? Right to the line. A little bit on each side? Yep. All right. All right. Now we're just going to this line now, dude. Mm -hmm. Well, I started making a new knife out of Damascus. The reason why, this one, I don't like the way it came out. I slipped, wind up having to grind it higher, and then I had to match this side, and it's just too high. Yeah, I only wanted to grind like maybe half that distance. So I'll, I'll still make this knife, but not for Green Mountain Metal Detecting. I'm going to make them this one now and just try to grind a little bit of it, like a bushcraft knife, and then sharpen it. Okay, hopefully, wish me luck on this one. <laughs> Bye.
So I had to wind up using the jib jig to uh, do this one. I didn't want to mess it up like I did the other one. So I played it safe. I put this at an angle, 10 degrees or so. And then I just snapped it on there and I think I did uh, 60, 120, and 240. Because this one I just got a little carried away and it's just way too much. I'll still finish it, like I said. But I didn't want it that, that high up. It's like a bushcraft knife, right? So you just want to go a little bit. And then just put a nice sharp edge on it and then it's good for everything. So now we're going to heat treat it. Heat treat it in here. You got to figure out um, the heat for this one. Damascus, I have to look it up. I think it's pretty high, like 1800 or something like that. Uh, but I'll do three cycles, you know, I'll, I'll heat it up, the it cool on its own three times, and then we'll quench it in Parks 50, which is uh, that tank down there, Parks 50. And then that's the acid to get the Damascus back. Okay, we'll keep rolling here. Sorry, I didn't know why I had that on. Let me take this off. Well, hold on a minute. All right. I think it came out pretty good. So I drilled a bunch of holes just to lighten it up in the back. Ooh, it's still hot. Believe me, if you don't do this, the knife will be way too heavy. Time for heat treat. This is anti-skill, anti-skill coating. You know, kind of like using the foil, stainless steel foil, but it's a little bit better. We're gonna go ahead and warm this per Park 50s up, whatever it's called. <laughs> we're gonna stick this inside the oven. When it gets the temperature, we'll use this, stick it in the oil to heat it up. She's at 350. We gotta wait a while, so we'll be back. So this is 1500 degrees. You can go up and down, but don't go sideways. Time for heat treat. We have another knife in here, a chef knife. It got warped really bad, so I put it in between two pieces of steel and clamped it down. And hopefully that takes the warp out. It's like about 250 degrees. We'll check it out, see how it comes out. Okay, we're gonna take them out three times. Let them naturally cool. There's one. 
one, two, so let this cool off and then um, we'll put them back in. You can see the anti seal popping off of there as it's cooling, it's popping. Let's get ready. I'm gonna do the first knife. We'll do this one first. Let me put the phone down. All right, let that sit in there for a few minutes, at least five, and then uh, we're going to start heat treating them. All right, I got them in the heat treat. So one, the Damascus one got warped, so I had to put it in the two pieces of steel and clamp it down. And the other one, the 09 tool steel, is right there. It's just in the stainless steel foil. 01 tool steel. <laughs> Did I say 09? I don't know why I said that for Anyway, we're going to leave it in there for two hours, maybe one hour, take it out for a half hour, put it back in. Probably do that three times. Hopefully that warp comes out. Um, we'll keep it posted. All right. It's been two hours. Baby's hot. So we did two cycles, one hour each. Turn this off. Alrighty, that's it. So now I have to um, sand them, put some handles on them, and sharpen them up. And send them off to Brad.